What's going on guys? Come sit back again on another MLB 18 Diamond Dynasty video. And before we start this video, go ahead, hit that sub button if you guys have not already. MLB the 18 video is coming around the clock. You guys already know, never stop in the grind, but Getting back to the topic of this video, of course, we are talking about a brand new leaked Immortal. And yes, I do say leaked because honestly, it's pretty much confirmed that we are going to get this guy. As you guys may know, um, on November 1st, we are getting a brand new Immortal for rank seasons. And the description, all they have told us about it so far is it will be an Immortal starting pitcher. So that kind of makes you wonder who exactly it's going to be, but it really shouldn't because the guy who is going to be it really shouldn't be much of a surprise to a lot of you and it really isn't to me but of course if you guys do not know a while back there was a leak where they kind of like leaked four immortals one being ted williams which we already knew from like the start beginning live streams that sds had the second was stan musial who of course we ended up getting right here and then third was mr mike trout right here of course um they were all leaked i think this was around uh either May or June that this ended up happening. And obviously, you know, we got Musio, we got Trout, and we got Ted Williams. And I'm showing you guys the screenshots on the screen right now. And as you guys can see, the stats are pretty much right on the dot from like where the uh, leak said that they were going to be. Obviously, they aren't exact because Obviously, SDS didn't have them completely finished and they did a little bit of balancing with them. So, like, Mike Trout had a couple stats here or there that got changed. But otherwise, it's the exact same. And, of course, there was one more and that is Mr. Justin Verlander. Um who I'm pretty much positive, 100% positive, is going to be our ranked Seasons Immortal for the month of November. Um, and I'll show you guys the stats on the screen right now. The, uh, the pictures are a little bit blurry. They did come from Reddit. I don't know exactly who posted them on Reddit, but I do apologize. Anyway, reading it off, he's going to have 107 stamina, uh, 105 hit 9, 98 K9, 85 walk 9, 115 clutch, 97 velocity, and 98 break. So you guys already know, he should be a beast if we're we're just gonna look at his POTM card from I believe May in comparison. Um, obviously, it's gonna be a lot better. I obviously did not have a chance to use this card, but you know, the hit nine is going to be um, about nine better. His K9 is actually gonna be 10 better as well. His velocity is gonna be the main thing that's really gonna go up from a 81 to a 97, so that's gonna be a big difference. And even his walk nine, his control should be a little bit better. I believe he's gonna have the same pitches. It did not really say anything about that, but. From what I've used Justin Verlander before, I don't remember. I know I had this card for a while. Um, I don't know. I think this was online. I don't really think I did too well with Justin Verlander, or at least his live series when I used him, but... I don't know, I did not have a chance to use his 99 overall flashback from last year's game, and I think he was in 16 too, but nonetheless, it is very exciting. Honestly, I don't really see the appeal of a starting pitcher to grind to 900, unless you're the kind of guy that always goes to 900 or World Series and rank seasons anyway. I don't know, for me, you guys already know the deal with me. I never like spending stubs on starting pitchers, that's just how it is. Um... I don't know. It's cool though. It definitely is. I like that it's a more modern day player. I mean, personally, just as like a younger guy, a uh, younger guy, and I think a lot of you guys can agree as well. It's nice to see like a Mike Trout immortal, a Justin Verlander immortal, or even somebody of pretty recent memory. That's why I think a lot of guys like Frank Thomas um, and guys like that, not necessarily guys like uh, Duke Schneider or somebody who played, you know, like in the 50s and the 60s or something. It just feels a little bit more modern. At least that's the way I see. It. Um, but the interesting thing about this is this could very well be our last Immortal that we are getting in MLB the 18 um, because we don't know that there's any more coming after this. We do know, and if you guys have not heard, there is not going to be any other ticket counter cards coming in MLB The Show 18, or at least major ones. They Maybe they're going to have a couple more golds or like a low diamond or something like that, but um, MLB The Show tips already confirmed on Twitter. There's not going to be another Immortal. There's not going to be any high diamonds. So if you guys have the tickets um, to get Yogi Berra and you want him, 
you might as well do it because there's not going to be anything else really worth your while to spend tickets on or if you want to go back and start completing some POTM sets that kind of thing I would recommend you guys to do so because like I said they're not going to come out with any other ticket counter cards which is actually really disappointing because I saw a statistic on Twitter where we got like 110 ticket counter cards last year and this year I think we only have about 30 so that is you know, that's like almost a fourth that's a little less than a fourth of the cards in the ticket counter that we got last year compared to this year and overall the only ticket counter card that I really thought was worth it in my opinion was the Kyle Schwarber and I'll show you guys the stats right here obviously you guys already know about him but I mean, he, he's just a good power hitter. There's so many other guys. Like, I'd probably start Stanton over him. I might start Yell man, probably not actually. Uh, but Dante Bichette and Billy Williams, I might start them over them as well. I mean, he's really the only one worth it, and he's never even going to see my team. But I don't. In my opinion, the ticket counter was a big. Uh, big waste but anyway regardless of the point we're not getting another ticket counter immortal obviously um and like i said we don't know for sure this is the last confirmed immortal that we know is coming um i i could see them putting out one for like the month of uh December and January, I don't think they would just start like a continuous rank season like they did last year this early. And like events too, I don't really know what they're going to do because they're not putting out any new events cards anymore. All they're doing is just having like packs and, you know, progress towards Williams and Bob Feather, which once again, I really wish they would do both just because it adds more incentive to play events, especially once you get 70 wins, you get Ted Williams. What the hell is the point of playing events to get an 85 to 89 overall live series diamond? You know, you know what? You could easily just as well get you could get Luis Severino who goes for 6k you're better off quick selling this card so if you want to sit there and uh what is it if you want to sit there and play 25 three inning games uh win 25 three inning games for 6,000 stubs go ahead but uh I don't know that's just my opinion but um of course Reggie Jackson uh, I didn't have a chance to mention that yet he's not going to be an immortal obviously this is going to be his best card in the game um He's uh, he's not worth it. If you look at his price right now, um, this bat's going for three hundred thousand. Um, that's going for about one thousand. This glove is going for ten thousand. So he's going for well over three hundred thousand stubs, and his price really isn't worth it. And the biggest problem with that is you cannot sell him back. He's locked to your collection once you do this. So I would really not recommend you guys to do that. I wish they would have had an immortal Reggie Jackson out, but obviously that's not going to happen. And I think Draftneck Mark or somebody on Twitter actually pointed it out. It might have been Paul Sporer or Healy. Um, I don't remember who it was, but I just remember somebody said it. Um, if you look at how many immortal outfielders we have, um, okay, we have one, we have two, we have uh, Sam Musi is an outfielder, right? Am I not dumb? All right, we have th we have three, we have four, uh, we have five, and Vladimir Guerrero makes six. So there's not a chance in how they're gonna come out with a seventh immortal uh, outfielder. So if you guys held out any hope for an immortal Reggie Jackson, that's not going to happen, unfortunately. But that is pretty much going to wrap up this video, guys. Like I said, just give you an early preview of what that. Justin Verlander immortal for the month of November rank seasons is going to look like of course when that officially goes live I'll probably make another video about it but just wanted to get this information out there so you guys can kind of start prepping your schedule if you guys want to go ahead and do the grind for Justin Verlander and also down below in the comments once again let me know your thoughts and opinions on his card his stats do you think he's going to be worth it are you going to be doing the grind let me know down below um otherwise I should have a pretty interesting video coming out tomorrow on Sunday so make sure to keep a lookout for that but if you guys did enjoy this video make sure to like down below hope you guys are great today and there you guys comes out yay love is love and hate is hate to die is an awesome adventure and I can hardly Wait, Earth is a prison, I need a great escape You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space You know I'm in my zone, you know I'm in my zone I took a bite of the glory, I take